Okay, so the first card is the crone, transmutation. And this is uh, for the fire, a sign it's ruled by Leo. So this is like a, <coughs> excuse me, the king of wands, really. Uh, so this is about change. This is a phoenix rising from the ashes over here. You can see this person rising up uh, from the flames. So you are overcoming a very, very big situation. It was a big hit to your confidence, and you are now getting over it. You are rising from it. You are, uh, you know, resolving problems, and you're moving away from it. Um, and, you you know, you're, you're emerging with a lot of power in your hands. So this is that phoenix rising from the ashes. you got the wind over here, which is intention. So you are now focused, uh, you know, and you are looking at a new path. You have got a lot of uh, stars over there, so there's a lot of hope over there. Uh, you might be communicating with a lot of people recently. Uh, but, you know, you've got some brand new ideas coming in over here, some really good ideas uh, about what you want to do for the future. So, uh, you know, a lot of insight coming. You can see that third eye being stimulated over there. So, and even the throat chakra. So you're communicating your ideas as well as, uh, you know, you're getting it. So there's almost like a download coming in. You can see crown chakra being activated. Yeah, this is in the form of a bird. Um, and, you know, you can see that you're getting a lot of ideas maybe from your higher self uh, or even your guides. Uh, so be uh, aware of that. And so make sure you're, uh, you know, keeping uh, in touch with your dreams. Keep a dream journal. That's a very good thing to do. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot of ideas coming in and new uh, ways of doing things and maybe new plans for the future as well. And that's giving you your power. That's allowing you to emerge from whatever you went through. Now, you've got the maiden clarity coming in for you over here, and you're starting to focus, uh, you know, on your goals for the future. You can see she's pointing that arrow to the future. And this could also be that, you know, there might be somebody that you really like, and you're trying to focus your attention on that particular person. But a lot of clarity coming in with this card, this the maiden of um, um, wind. Now, in the past, you've got centering over there, and you've got the mother regeneration. So, centering is you made a decision. You've got Mars sitting in uh, Aries there, and the decision seems to have been to focus on yourself and, you know, what you want to do on your ambitions. So, you've got all your energy going into projects that, uh, you know, fulfill you, uh, and, you know, are very, very focused. You can see this person's manifesting as well. So, some kind of decision was made. And you are now focusing all your attention on that. You've got the mother of fire regeneration. So like the, uh, you know, the crone, the transmutation or, or rising from the ashes, the mother of regeneration is the same as well. So seeing the bigger picture, because it's a card ruled by Sagittarius, but also, uh, you know, emerging uh, after going through a lot of, you know, going through the fire uh, really um, and, um, you know, uh, things, um, seeing uh, things now from a different light. You've got that fire, uh, you've got that feather there that's showing that, you know, you are changed, uh, your your attitudes, you've changed your way you think. Uh, you've got the crown chakra being activated over there, so you're getting divine guidance as well. So big changes coming in for you. You've undergone some kind of spiritual regeneration, and you've got new clarity coming and new ideas coming in over here. And you're more in touch with yourself as well, but you have seemed to have gone through quite a difficult period. You know, you've gone through something that was really, really difficult. Now you've got uh, the forgiveness card in uh, the future, and this is the six of fire. So, you know, there is uh, something that's holding you back, and maybe you need to give uh, give it up or forgive the person for what they did. Um, you know, you don't have to tell them I forgive you, but you need to forgive them uh, or even forgive yourself and let go of it because it's chained your heart here. You know, you, you can't progress or you can't even find new love because whatever has happened, uh, you know, was so devastating. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe you just you just can't get over it. Uh, and maybe the way to open that route is to forgive the situation and move on. And you've got the cleansing card over here. So uh, Mars sitting in Scorpio here, and that is the Five of Cups. So, uh, you know, whatever you're, uh, you're going through is still upsetting you. And it looks like you do need to do a clearing, a cleansing of those emotions. And, you know, maybe part of it is actually forgiving that person, letting go of those regrets and whatever disappointments that you went through, um, you know, taking advice from others as well, but also, uh, you know, giving up all that negative emotion, 
clearing it out of your mind, cleansing it from your body in order for you to move forward and refocusing with this new clarity that you're getting. It seems like you are getting some divine guidance and that's helping you heal. But the first step is going to be forgiving uh, yourself. Uh, you know, sometimes you need to forgive yourself for even allowing yourself to be in that situation. Um, you know, that's always going to be the hardest thing for us to do. Um, you know, it's not even about the other person. It's about feeling vulnerable in a situation. So, uh, you know, needing to forgive yourself, uh, clearing out all that negative emotion and moving forward. So those are the energies within those two weeks. Okay, so I'm just going to do uh, use the Jane Austen tarot for the main read. Okay. So you've got the justice cards here. So it looks like you have been dealing with some kind of legal situation. Um, you know, uh, this could have been a divorce that you went through, and this is why you are so devastated. Uh, you know. There is a definitely um, a breakup of communication between you and that person. You can see the feather going across over there. So, you know, you're, out, uh, on, you're thinking differently from that particular person. Uh, you're on different wavelengths, really. Uh, so maybe you've cut communication with this particular person, um, and you are now dealing with the legalities of what is happening. So there looks like there was some kind of legal separation that happened there. Maybe the only way you all are communicating is through your lawyers or, you know, maybe sending each other emails or, or you know, something uh, official that you are uh, communicating by. But there's definitely that breakup, that split that went on, and it seems to have ended in a legal situation. Now, a big change is coming in for you here with the wheel. Uh, it looks like that difficult cycle is now over, and you are going to be moving forward. Uh, you will be meeting a lot more people. You can see there's a lot more social uh, activity going on over here. So, you know, you've ended it, you put it behind you, and maybe you're going out now and trying to get over that particular situation. And, you know, you're getting a lot more in. Um, you know, invitations as well. You've got that uh, two of quills, so still waiting for some kind of legal decision, maybe news or information that has not been quite revealed to you. So some decision is being made here. You are, maybe it's you making the decision or trying to make a decision about something uh, and you're asking for advice from people around you. You've got these two women over here. Uh, but facts have not all come to light here. So something hasn't been revealed. Uh, and you need that bit of information in order for you to make a big decision. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune coming in over there, uh, it looks like, you know, that information will come to light uh, because it wants you to move forward. The Wheel always wants you to move forward. Um, so whatever has been uh, kept from you uh, will come to light. But also, you know, whatever advice you're getting from people around you, uh, you ne do need to take. And there is that legal decision you are waiting for as well with that justice card. Now, in the past, you've got the sun, so that you may have met somebody, uh, you know, recently, in the recent past, uh, and it's a brand new relationship. So maybe you're still, you know, you're dealing with the legalities of this old relationship, you're moving on, uh, and, you know, it seems like maybe you have met somebody, somebody that you are interested in, and it's the beginning of a new relationship. It seems like, uh, you know, uh, on the intellectual level, you get along pretty well with this person, uh, you know, you're on the same wavelength. And you want to invest in that relationship. So uh, you've got that seven of coins over here trying to make an investment in something. He's planting seeds. So you've met this person and it seems like maybe you've been making inroads uh, to have a relationship with this person. You may have asked them out or they may have asked you out. Uh, and it looks like, uh, you know, you are, you are trying uh, to start a brand new relationship. You're going to, you've been putting some energy into that. Now, this person, uh, this is uh, the Lord of Quills, so you are waiting, you're still waiting for the legality. So, uh, this is the King of um, Swords, and this is about waiting for uh, judgment. Uh, and you've got the Justice card over here, so there is, and uh, you've got that Two of Quills. So, all three cards showing there is a, a legal ending to that situation, and you're waiting for that judgment to come through. So, this is something that's been playing on your mind. Now, going to the future, you've got the magician, so you are trying to manifest this new relationship. And this is what you've been, uh, you know, working on recently with that seven of coins. 
but also with the magician, maybe there's communication that's opened up between you and this particular person, uh, and you are trying to manifest this relationship. You're trying to make that, uh, you know, you're focusing on that particular relationship right now. So what's happening with you? You've got the um, Ace of Candlesticks over here. Uh, so maybe this is starting a brand new relationship with somebody who, uh, you know, it's going to be a rather sexual relationship initially. So maybe that's, uh, you know, what you've been working with. Uh, uh, this person uh, you're very, very attracted to on the physical level, and that's how that relationship starts on. This is also making that brand new start in a new direction. Uh, so this is something brand new coming in over here. So this uh, sun uh, card showing that new relationship and you investing in it, and then it becoming, you know, it's starting off as a very sexual relationship initially. You're taking your risks and your chances, and you're going for it. So the fool is about making brand new beginnings. Uh, so, you know, you're uh, waiting for closure from the previous relationship and you're going to be starting brand new uh, with this relationship. So this new relationship might end up being something very stable because you can see this person's walking to this house. Everything's not quite clear yet. Uh, you know, the path is not quite opened yet, but it looks like that's the way it's going to be going. So this new relationship is going to be uh, moving you forward. And you've got that Knight of Candlesticks over there. So maybe you're going to be, um, you know, you're... It looks like you might be traveling or you want to travel with that Knight of Candlesticks. It looks like you might even want to change jobs uh, or relocate. relocate. Um, so, you know, move away from that old situation. So you're waiting for this legal uh, decision to come through. But also, you know, you're trying to make that choice. So maybe the choice is about whether you want to stay in that same place that you're staying in or even move away, get a new job somewhere else and start afresh. Because you definitely want to start afresh with that full card. It looks like you are going to be doing that and even start a new relationship, um, uh, but you're making that decision at the moment. Now going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the strength card, you've got the nine of teacups over here and uh, the judgment card. So the strength card is that you're not listening to anybody else's opinions, uh, you've taken control of your life uh, now and you're telling people to uh, you know, really shut up. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you're not listening to whatever they've got to say. You're thinking for yourself because you're wearing your own hat over there and you have got, uh, you're not taking advice from people. You've decided what you want to do. There's travel, uh, you know, there's ships in the background. There's a lot of communication going on over there. So it looks like, you know, with this um, night of candlesticks, it's about travel. So maybe you are planning on taking a journey or traveling, maybe seeing the world as well. So, uh, you're making up your mind and you're taking back your power. You've definitely taken back your power. So you've got the nine of teacups over here. So this is about, uh, you know, gatherings and satisfaction over here. Uh, but it's also about, you know, uh, getting emotional uh, fulfillment in anything and everything that you do. And that is going to be coming to you. Uh, and a lot of recognition as well coming in over here. You can see this person's got this uh, huge picture or portrait behind them. He's at the head of the table. So you're going to be, you know, this is also about, you know, maybe family gatherings as well. But you're getting a lot of satisfaction and you're going to be meeting a lot of people. You can see there's a lot of entertainment going on over there. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, you're taking a stand uh, you're taking uh, back control, but you're also uh, broadening your horizons, maybe doing a lot more travel uh, and also getting a lot of more um, um, satisfaction or happiness or joy meeting a lot more people. So you're socializing quite a bit um, and you can even see that with that uh, Wheel of Fortune, a lot more social uh, events coming in. So you're not it doesn't seem like you're focusing on one particular thing right now. You, you're trying to broaden your horizons. Uh, you're trying to, to um, socially network quite a bit. The Nine of Teacups is about the Nine of Cups. It's wishes being fulfilled. So whatever you have been ambitious for is going to come into your arena. But also it's going to bring a lot of uh, you know good friends, people you can rely on, and people that you can enjoy life with. And that looks what, like what's going to come in for you. And then you've got the judgment card over here. So, you know, the judgment card is about making new plans for the future, having a new decision, making a new decision, reaching that fork in the road. You can see these people looking to the future. Um, but also, you know, it might be the emerging of old friends that you're getting together. And you can see that with the sign of cups and you know forming uh rebonding with them as well going back and completing things that you haven't finished as well but reaching a, a fork in the road and deciding 
uh, you've learned a lot from whatever's happened uh, and this is how you're going to be uh, taking charge of your life. So you're not really listening to anybody anymore. You're taking control and you're socializing a lot more and you're, uh, you know, you're at that turning point in your life and it looks like you are making new plans for the future as well. So a new relationship coming in might be something that starts off quite sexually right now. You're making, uh, you know, new inroads, brand new beginnings coming in for you. And a lot more socializing going on for you uh, while you're waiting for that legal decision to come through. So there's a decision card over there. You've got the lover's card over here. And this could also be a sexual relationship. Make choices from your heart. A deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. So you could be entering a new, uh, you know, relationship with the lover's card over there. Uh, a lot of communication with this particular person, but also making a choice, uh, a decision on how to proceed forward. So you have some kind of big decision to make. You've got the four of Ariel over here, which says what when you give, you also receive, being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. Now, the four of Ariel, um, the four of Pentacles, is about establishing yourself. So you're getting your security back. Uh, you know, if you've had financial loss, that money, uh, you know, is coming to you and you're being, you know, you're getting to a point where you're financially stable and also uh, uh, financially secure. Uh, and also, if you start this relationship, you know, it looks like it's going to be a very stable relationship uh, that you're going to be entering in and a long term one as well. It's going to be a very give and take relationship over here. So, you know, you're both going to be on the same page and, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be something that lasts with that four of Ariel. Now you've got the five of Michael over here. So it says, this situation doesn't serve you. Release attachment to the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach. Now the five of Michael is about, you know, waiting for that legal decision uh, to come in and, uh, you know, uh, walking away from that difficult situation as well. So you need to not only cut ties with this person on a legal basis, but also just leave them behind and move forward. Uh, you know, move towards a brand new sunrise. Because with the Five of Mike, which is the Five of Swords, uh, whatever uh, encounter you have with this person from the past that you had a relationship with, it seems to turn nasty and it seems to be a very... Um, it seems to be a very vindictive relationship. It seems to have, uh, you know... It, it, it seems to be uh, as though there's a lot of conflict there and you'll say a lot of harsh words to each other. So it's it's a very toxic relationship and you do need to cut that tie completely. And maybe, you know, that is why you're thinking of actually traveling away from it, moving away completely from it and, you know, starting something brand new. So it looks like you want to make a fresh start somewhere else and, uh, you know, maybe even start a new job somewhere else. There's somebody that you're interested in and you seems like you are going to start a relationship with this particular person and you are waiting for that legal news to come in so that you can completely, uh, you know, end cycle, end the cycle and get closure. Uh, whatever this decision is that you have to make, there is some kind of love relationship coming or it could be a very sexual relationship. Usually the lover's card implies, you know, a very sexual relationship as opposed to a love relationship like the Two of Cups. Uh, and whatever this relationship is, is going to be, it's going to end up being something very stable. So like I said, it might start off as a very, uh, you know, uh, physical relationship, but it's going to end up as a very secure, stable relationship. But you need to cut ties with the past completely. So I hope this, rela uh, this reading has resonated with you. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.